Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and today we're going to continue the iPhone 4 tips, and today we're covering Safari, or the web browser that's built into your iPhone. So here's Safari, now it may be located in a different location when you turn your iPhone on. This is where I've put it, I like it there, so let's go ahead and zoom in here, so we can show you a little bit closer what we've got. So here's Safari, let's go ahead and open it. Now I've already navigated to Zolotech.com, my site and let me show you how to navigate if you're not familiar and maybe show you a couple tips so here's the site obviously we have kinda of flicked to find uh, what we want to see next go down the page if we want to zoom we pinch if we want to zoom out we pinch this way or I'm sorry pinch or unpinch whatever you want to call that so pinch to zoom and if you want to see it formatted for the page we can double tap this area and it will bring it in we double tap again, it goes back. If we want to see this area, double tap comes in, double tap goes out. Real simple, but nice to know. So that's the page itself. Now we have a couple options down here. We have back, forward. Here we have a couple options for add bookmark, add to home screen, mail link to this page, print, which is a new feature. If you have a printer on your network, you can print to it. So uh, one of these things, you probably are familiar with what a bookmark is. You can save where the site is so you don't have to type in the address all the time we can mail it print is pretty self-explanatory add to home screen let's go ahead and do that and what it will do is ask us to name it we'll go ahead and add and what it does is add a link to the website you're currently on to your home screen you can place this anywhere just like any other app we can put it here if we want move it back and when we tap on it it will open in a web browser and bring us to the page we want it to so it's just a nice way to go to a site that maybe you don't have an app for yet so it's really uh, it's not really something I personally use a lot but it can be helpful for a lot of people so the other option down here is our bookmarks that's this button here it looks like a little book and here's bookmarks we also have history within here so we have a bunch of different bookmarks we can sync these with mobile me but that's another video let's go into our history and in history some of you may want to know how to clear that there's simply a clear button down here at the bottom we tap on this and clear our history now they're all gone we hit done and they're gone but we still have our bookmarks retained that's just the history so that's how you take care of that now we also have this button here that has a two on it if we tap on this we have two different windows open or two different uh, almost like tabs but I guess it's more like a window also. We can also do a new page if we want to navigate somewhere else and open up to eight of these pages before we can't do that anymore. So what we can do is if we've got too many, we hit this X and they go away. Now we only have one open. So really simple. Now there's a couple more things. If we tap on the top bar, it brings down the address bar. We can type in whatever address we want, Google, CNN, Engadget, whatever, and hit go and we can get to that website. Now in here we have a search bar now I've put in the word iPhone and it searches for iPhone but if you look down here it says on this page 28 matches that's actually how you can search a page for a keyword so if I scroll down on the page it says find iPhone and it highlights it in yellow here is next we can go to the next word and since we're in iPhone 4 tips we're going to see a lot of the word iPhone 28 matches and we keep going and that's pretty much it so the browser itself is very simple. Now this is the default browser. There are a couple other browsers available in the App Store. Uh, Opera and uh, I can't remember the new one that actually um, allows you to use Flash as well. But let's go ahead and exit this and show you a couple settings before we conclude here. So we go into settings. Yep. We go to settings. Here's our settings button. And under here we have Safari we can set our default search engine for any of you that may not want Google you can set it to Yahoo or Bing you also have autofill you have fraud warnings JavaScript block pop-ups cookies you can clear your history here as well clear your cookies or cache and for developer we have the debug console so really some decent options for such a simple mobile browser but here's how you get to them so that should help you out I hope there's really not much more to cover as far as the browser goes if we wanted to tap on this video it will open and uh, play without any problem 
but there is not Flash included in the browser. So that's really it for the browser. Not a whole lot more to talk about, but for any of you that may have any other tips or browsers you like to use other than Safari, please feel free to comment below and let others know that uh, haven't used this and are waiting for their Verizon iPhone this week. Uh, thanks for all who've subscribed. I appreciate it. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.